I don't know if you know this, but several Rocket League mechanics can trace their origins and names back to its 2008 predecessor, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. Yes, terms like Flick, Aerial, and even Freestyle were quickly adapted by the community as many Battle Car veterans moved to Rocket League when it released in 2015. In the years since, several new game mechanics specific to Rocket League have been discovered, and to go with that, new terminology by which to describe them. But some names don't always stick. Today we're going to be looking at the history of some Rocket League mechanics, their original names, and the stories that led to the terms we use now. At the start of each of these sections, I want to suggest you should try and take a guess, or if you've been around long enough, try and remember exactly what you think each of these names used to mean. After the video, let me know in the comments below how many you were able to figure out. Air drag is one of those terms that originated with SARP. With its more powerful boost and stronger ball hits, the physics in SARP battle cars made intricate ball touches and maneuvers a lot more difficult than they are in today's Rocket League. But that didn't stop some players from being able to pull off multiple touches in a row as they guided the ball into the net. To the community at the time, it was referred to as an air drag or an air dribble. Yes, the terms were pretty much interchangeable. And when similar moves started to be performed in Rocket League, the two names lived on. As you can see, some of the top Reddit posts from the early days of Rocket League regularly used the term air drag in their titles. Also, air drag tutorials can be found on YouTube, which further reinforces the general use and acceptance of that description. As the game matured, some people did start to protest about it being called a drag, while others tried to assign different meanings to the terms. But like SARP, there was no general consensus on a difference between an air dribble and an air drag. In the end, they continued to be used together along with a third variation, air carry, until about 2019. Around then, most Reddit posts that used the term air drag would have people in the comments either asking what an air drag was, or insisting on it being called an air dribble. Fast forward to today, and there's only been five Reddit posts in the last year that have dared to use air drag, as the former SARP term has finally died off in favor of its twin brother, the air dribble. As we move on to the second mechanic on this list, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm hosting a special Rocket League mechanic contest that is open to all ranks. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you stick around to hear more about it at the end of the video. All right, do you have your guess ready for what a Tarzan swing is? Because honestly, I had no idea about this one until I started working on this video. I wasn't able to figure out exactly who first coined the phrase, but a freestyler named Mittens put out the most popular tutorial for the Tarzan swing in April 2017. A search of Reddit found very few posts using the term, and in the end, it seems to me that Rocket League casters were mostly responsible for Tarzan Swing having some legitimacy for a short time. And there's not too much time left here for OCE freestylers to oh, drive up this swing. two goal lead. Oh, gets it! What? what was that? What? Oh my goodness, that wasn't a Tarzan Swing! It was, but I have no words. As you can probably see now, a Tarzan Swing was the original description for a ceiling shot. And if you think that's a terrible name, let me point out that way back in May 2016, Mertzi actually tried to call falling from the ceiling the serpent's kiss. Yeah, we didn't make that a thing. Now, some Reddit comments show us that there was at least a few people that liked the Tarzan Swing label, but by and large, most were against it. I think the final blow could be attributed to this post on the Rocket League subreddit in September 2017, when a user named Super Gyro called out casters for saying things like Tarzan shot and Spider-Man clear in RLCS streams. A commenter named Yuz chimed in on the post to agree that those terms seem to never be used outside of casting. And in case you're wondering, he also identifies a Spider-Man clear as being better known as the backboard clear. While this post didn't get a lot of upvotes, I credit it as having an effect as RLCS caster Shogun replied, saying he would pay money if anyone found footage of him saying Tarzan or Spider-Man starting from the very next week. Longtime analyst and host Leaf was also found responding in the comment section as well. Thus, almost as fast as it arrived, the Tarzan swing faded away into obscurity. So much so, then I'm pretty sure most of you watching never even knew it was a thing. Despite it most likely being an unfamiliar term, when you hear flip restore, I think you probably know what we're going to be talking about. But it was a bit of a journey to get from the flip restore to the flip reset as we know it today. Originally added as a feature to allow you to dodge after launching off ramps in the Rocket Labs playlist, the potential for flip resets off the ball was not apparent from the start. Though no doubt there was probably several different people that started experimenting with the idea, the first documented use of a ball flip reset was by a SARP vet named Fashot about a month after the update. It was a move he dubbed a flip restore. By June 2016, Fashot was still trying to score his first in-game goal with the move he described as being a play that involved hitting the ball with the bottom of my car mid-aerial, thus restoring my dodge. The award for the first footage of a flip restore ended up going to a player named Stink, who pulled one off in late September 2016. Sting told me that at the time, the common description he was using was ball reset. And while flip reset was also being used, it kind of had two meanings. 
This video from Mercy in December 2016 explains flip resets as being any time you got your flip back, specifically the touching of your wheels to the walls and the ceiling. It was obviously a confusing era with ceiling shots being potentially known as flip resets, Tarzan swings, and if you're a Mercy fan, maybe even a serpent's kiss, all at the same time. By early 2017, jump resets seemed to be the most common description for getting your dodge back off the ball, with examples such as the title of Jazar's montage at the time, or this double jump reset post from Pulsefire. Finally, by late 2017, ball and jump resets seemed to fall out of use, and the simple flip reset description as we know it is fully embraced by the Rocket League community. Now if you have any knowledge of the freestyle scene, you're probably thinking, I know what no flipping is, and it's still called that. But this mechanic is not one so much that changed names, but instead changed meanings. Let me explain. In January 2017, halfway dead, the original Rocket League scientist himself thought he might have discovered a new mechanic, something he dubbed the no flip. By making use of a new key binding assigned to dodge forward, he found he was able to completely cancel out the motion of a dodge while still gaining the acceleration. Another Reddit user ran his own test to prove that the no flip was the fastest method of acceleration known at the time. It still required some precise timing, but in effect, it had the potential to render regular dodging useless. As such, commenters on the YouTube video also suggested another name for this move, the Air Dash, which Halfway Dead eventually added to the title of his tutorial. But the excitement quickly died down the next day when Psyonix dev Corey Davis tweeted, don't get attached to no flip, not intended. In a lengthy Reddit comment, he went on to explain that mechanics that gave competitive advantages while being hidden behind obscure button configurations went well beyond the idea of player discovery and ingenuity that they wanted to have in the game. And thus, the dodge binding was patched out. But this wasn't the last time the term no flip would be used in Rocket League. Also known as flip cancelling, the new no flip was promoted as a method to give precise contact on the ball while maintaining control over your car during and after the hit. Eventually pros started to employ this technique, which of course made players of all ranks take notice. While some suggest no flipping gives more powerful hits, in reality it's more about giving a reliable and controlled contact between bumper and ball. Or, if you're a freestyler, just looking a little cooler while you score. It's interesting to note that I was able to find a tutorial of flip cancelling shots that still used the term air dash as late as 2018, even though technically it was not really related to the original mechanic. But eventually, the no flip, or no flipping as freestylers often refer to it, once again became part of our Rocket League mechanic vocabulary, while most players have no idea about its game-breaking origin story. Most people would say that the musty flick has always been called the musty flick, and in a way, they are correct. The name has been attached to the mechanic ever since its debut on Reddit in late 2016. I wanted to include the musty flick in this list because it's a good example of how a named mechanic comes to be in Rocket League, and I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about its history. Some will claim that the musty flick only exists because of Musty's popularity and his insistence on naming it after himself. Others say Musty would not have become popular without the musty flick. But personally, I feel both of these views are incorrect. First of all, Musty was a nobody when he posted his flick to Reddit. I don't mean to rank, platform, or even car shame, but he was just a gold level console player in a breakout when he posted a short free play gif on Reddit in October 2016. But it was something unique enough to gain attention. Someone commented to say it should be called a dolphin flick, but Musty's reply did seem to get a lot of upvotes. True, it was part of his gamer tag, but it was also short, and like the commenter says here, it sounded dirty. It was a unique mechanic with an interesting name. But what happened next is probably one of the most important things that helped legitimize both the flick and his name. Within the next 12 hours, two higher ranked players posted clips to Reddit of them pulling off the move and they both used the musty flick name in their posts. Even Corey from Cyanix was impressed enough to comment on one of the clips. You see, some low ranked kid can't just force people to use a specific name for a mechanic. But if the community accepts it independently, that's when names have a chance to stick. From there, Musty created a new Reddit account under the A Musty Cow name. But despite what some people think, he didn't farm karma just by spamming Musty Flick clips. Of course, he did post his first in-game Musty January 29th, 2017, about three months after the mechanic was first shown. But other than that, Musty posted a variety of content as he slowly built up a following. True, from time to time, maybe he name dropped some other creators just for clout. But who can fault him, really? Another important milestone in the story of the Musty Flick happened on August 2017 during the televised NBC 2v2 Universal Open. Another mistake, over oh. rotation, oh. very peak gets the goal, 2-1 for Rocket. Adding some style here, look at this one. Pashi winning that 50-50, a wide open net for Fairy Peak. He actually scoops it. Oh. That's cool. That's called a Musty Flick. Yeah, the Musty Flick, yeah. He that's... Musty Flicked that ball it's, it's right cool. out of the air. With Great. casters now using the term on the world stage, it seemed the Musty Flick was here to stay. 
But not everyone thought Musty's name should be attached to the mechanic, and one of the most notable antagonists was streamer and commentator Johnny Boy. But once again, this is another part of the Musty flick story that not everyone gets right. It is true that shortly after the original Reddit post, Johnny Boy had some pros trying the flick on his stream, and he was using a word to describe it that we really can't say anymore. The video has since been privated, but this isn't something we need to cancel anyone over, as we used to use this word to describe something we thought looked stupid. And in 2016, the Musty Flick was definitely a strange looking discovery that seemed useless to a lot of viewers. Some have felt this was a personal vendetta between Johnny Boy and Musty, but that's not really the case. In February 2018, during Musty's first appearance on his stream, Johnny Boy did give him a bit of a hard time. So. I mean, I don't know if he's going to name this one after himself as well. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, good, it was actually good mechanics, and he's tied the game. Good stuff by the newcomer. But this wasn't just about the musty flick. I'll let Johnny explain his viewpoint here. Nah, you, the, the other problem with calling moves after players is it's not like good for new people. They'll be like, who's that? Uh, why is the move called that? But if you call it the 180 back, backflip flick, that's informative as well as accurate like not only is it uh giving it a name but it's also informing people as to how he did it yes he doesn't like the idea of naming any mechanics after a player don't believe me here's him commentating a breezy right. flick i'll give breezy that that's not a bad start <laughs> just a casual 360 year roll into backflip flick and yes i did confirm both through reddit posts and breezy himself that the flick that bears his name should have been common knowledge by this time. This is just how Johnny Boy likes to present Rocket League moves and mechanics. As such, the musty flick was regularly described by him on stream as a backflip flick, and his influence seems strong enough that as recent as 2020 I found another RLCS caster calling it a backflip flick. He's doing it all! Gets down here, the backflip flick! But if there's any chance of the musty flick changing its name, it died out when Rocket League went free to play. Yeah, at this point, fame, hard work, and probably a little bit of luck all played an important role as Musty has become the most subscribed Rocket League YouTube channel, joined NRG, and is technically a professional player. Quite the ending for a story that started out with a gold ranked player posting his shot to Reddit. But what about you? Have you ever invented your own Rocket League mechanic? Did you get downvoted on Reddit? Well, I would love to see it. I'm once again hosting a meme mechanic contest where I'm looking for the best submissions from every rank. If you can come up with a fun name and description, along with footage of you using your mechanic in game, it doesn't really matter how viable it actually is. For examples, make sure you watch my previous episode, which includes both humorous and legitimate entries. After that, fill out the Google form linked in the description with your Discord name, Rocket League tracker link, a write-up about your mechanic and its name, and as much footage as you can get. If you enjoyed this video about Rocket League mechanic lore, be sure to check out some of my previous Rocket League history videos. This one on the left explores some secrets discovered in the game files. And over here on the right, we have the crazy backstories behind some well-known Rocket League items. My name is Rocket Sledge. Thanks for watching.